But we're going bit pretty fast through these. And then let's have a look now what we also have. Uh, so now what we have is, is part C, okay? Uh, the sequence that we're interested in is 1, 5, 25, 125, and so on. Okay? So what we're going to do here is we're going to do a substitution. Actually, I didn't do this particular this particular example earlier. Okay? But if you look, <clears throat> let's say, uh, you can see that what's happening here is that this is five times the previous times the previous term. So this is basically, this is encoding the power series x to the zero plus 5x to the one plus 25x squared plus 125x cubed plus dot, dot, dot. Now look at these terms here. This is effectively 5x to the one. This is effectively 5x squared because 5 times 5 gives us 25 and x times x gives us x squared. This is effectively here uh, 5x cubed. Right? And this here is effectively 5x to the 0. So if we substitute, so you can see the substitution now. So if we let, if we let x equal 5x, right? what we end up with, okay? what we end up with, if we let x equal 5x, in the sequence associated, let's say, <coughs> excuse me, with the constant sequence, okay, the constant sequence of ones, okay, uh, what we'll end up with is we'll end up with the power series associated with this particular this particular geometric this geometric sequence, right? Uh, so, what this effectively is, okay, so to get to here, okay, to get to here, we're letting x x be equal to x be equal to 5x if that makes sense yeah so if you think about this here and uh, let's say we have x to the zero plus x to the one plus x squared plus x cubed plus dot 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 that's effectively a constant sequence but we're going to let x be 5x which effectively gives us this thing up here so the constant sequence has the constant sequence has a generating function which is one over one minus x and we're making the substitu substitution let x be 5x. So what we now have is we have g1 of 5x is 1 over 1 minus 5x. So that's the generating function now associated with this geometric, this geometric sequence. And moving ahead now, let's say, so here's what we have. You can see the next one now looks like it's a geometric sequence where we've substituted in 3x. But now we have the negative values, so maybe what we need to do is we need to introduce an alternating an alternating sequence. So we're going to have to substitute in a minus x somewhere. Right? So once again, let's have a look at that particular sequence, which is sequence D. Okay? So we have sequence D, sequence D, which is uh, one minus three, nine minus twenty-seven, eighty-one. Da da da. Its power series okay, is x to the 0 minus 3x to the 1 plus 9x squared minus 27x cubed plus 81x to the 4 plus da da da. Okay. Now, hang on here a moment, yeah? Okay. This is the same as, okay, this is the same as, well, this is the same as x to the 0, uh, let's say, plus minus 3x to the 1, okay, plus, well, the 9 is the same as 3 squared, okay, so minus 3x squared will give us the 9x. You can see here that this is effectively minus 3x cubed, and this here is minus 3x to the 4, okay, the 81, okay, the 81 is minus 3 to the 4 gives us plus 81. The minus 3 cubed gives us minus 27. The minus 3 squared gives us plus 9. The minus 3 to the power of 1 gives us minus 3. And this here, I suppose, effectively is minus 3 to the 0. So the substitution here in the constant sequence is letting x equals minus 3x. So let's see. <clears throat> Let's see what's going to happen now in that particular case. Okay, so let's do the substitution. So once again, let's start off with the constant sequence. 
So it's sequence one, 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 dot, 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 okay? Its power series is x to the zero. It's x to the zero minus three x, sorry, it's, it's x to the zero plus x to the one plus x squared plus x cubed plus dot, 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 okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to let x be minus three x, okay? So minus three x, when we let x equals minus three x, we effectively get we effectively get this thing here, okay? Which gives us this thing here. So the substitution into the constant sequence of minus three x does the job. So the constant sequence g one of x is once again one over one minus x. So we substitute in minus three x. We have uh, the generating function with minus three x for x becomes one over one minus minus three x which is the same as one over one plus three x. And that's now our generating function, okay? So you can actually see to get a geometric sequence uh, where let's say the, the, the difference, the difference is, is, is three times something, yeah? Three times the previous term, you substitute in three times x. In the previous one to get the evens, <coughs> sorry, not to get the evens, uh, in the previous one, we had five times the previous. The geometric progression was based on, on five times the previous term. We substituted in 5x. Okay. So just continuing now, let's have a look at the next sequence, which is sequence f, okay? Which is 1, 0, 5, 0, 25, 0, 125, 0, dot, dot, dot. Now we know the generating function. We know the generating sequence. The, the, we know that for the sequence one five twenty five one hundred twenty five. Okay, we know what its generating function is. Okay, and we know what its, its power series is. This is x to the zero plus five x to the one plus twenty five x squared plus one hundred twenty five x cubed. Okay, and it's generating. It's generating function. Where's that gone? 